Welcome back. Now, we'll have to wait until next week for the official statistics on how many companies became insolvent last year. But the most recent figures from the ONS point to a rising trend. Well, bucking that, though, are cooperatives and mutuals, organisations that are owned by members, such as employees, customers or suppliers. The latest statistics suggest new cooperatives are more than twice as likely to survive for five years than other new startups, and that cooperatives are five times less likely to cease trading than other businesses. Well, joining me now to talk about this, this is Rose Marley, Chief Executive of Cooperatives UK. Rose, welcome to you. To what extent are these figures skewed by the existence of some very long-established cooperatives like the Co-op Group, John Lewis, Nationwide Building Society and so on? Morning, Ian. Uh, great question. Um, then we take them over a five-year period and actually when you look at the small business, the small cooperatives like community-owned pubs, um, they're growing actually and we're monitoring this closely for that exact reason. But the thing is about mutuals and cooperatives, because they're owned and in the case of cooperatives controlled by their members, this resilience comes from the decision-making process. It's not driven by the need to get private individual or shareholder profit. It's driven by the needs of the customers and members that they're serving. So the, the decisions, we saw it in the pandemic, you know, people were more prepared to, you know, muck in as, uh, you know, volunteers or were more prepared to kind of wait and sit out the pandemic than rather than trying to extract profit out of the situation. And that's what the big difference is. I mean, these businesses may have a better survival rate, but are they necessarily more productive than a lot of PLCs? Yeah, so the Employee Ownership Association has just done some research which shows that the employee-owned and worker cooperatives are 8% uh, more productive. They're resilient, they're productive, and the other thing is they provide the economic security. So cooperatives will employ seven times more people on average than other businesses. Again, it's because the needs are driven by the workers, the customers, as opposed to that profit gain. But do they necessarily work on a larger scale? I mean, we've seen, for example, the co-op came close to collapse a decade ago because of a lack of access to capital. It's a real issue now for the John Lewis partnership. It is a real issue, and that's why we're calling on all political parties ahead of the general election to put the growth of these businesses in their economic strategy. It's worth £87 billion to the UK when you combine... There's only 9,000 businesses that are generating that £87 billion, and it's just 1% of all business types. So, actually, if we enable some of that legislative uh, changes, the ability to raise finance and actually help these businesses that keep the money in the UK, we'll all be better off for it. But how do you get access to finance if you're a mutual and you're trying to scale up? Well, this is a real issue because private finance in particular are looking for those returns, are looking for uh, that financial return on investment. There are investors that will be looking for a social return on investment as well, but a lot of the legislation stops that and, and doesn't enable that opportunity. So um, the Economic Secretary to the Treasury last year announced a Law Commission review and there's lots of uh, legislative reviews taking place to say, how can you raise finance as a mutual or a cooperative? Because they really are good for the UK economy. But, and, well, to answer that question, how do they? Well, it, this is, this, there's going to be a lot of detail in there to, to work through. But, for example, one of the mechanisms that is available to cooperatives and community benefit societies, which is called community shares, and it's like crowdfunding, Ian, but you get to own a little bit of the uh, business because it's a, a co-op. An example there is you're limited to only be able to contribute £100,000. Now, uh, you, you, you speak earlier talking about tech. You know, you need way more than £100,000 to develop a tech cooperative, which are growing, by the way. So this is a real core issue that you've touched on there. Raising capital is one of our asks for government. OK, Rose, got to leave it there, I'm afraid. Good to see you this afternoon. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. I should say this afternoon. It's still the morning, just about, isn't it? Thanks for joining me. That's it from me for the time being.